Who is 8614 Robotic Time? We're a team composed of high school students from Olympia High School in Orlando, Florida. We're a public school where most of our extracurricular activities are started and run by its own students. Olympia's first robotics team was started in 2014 as a result of a student's aspirations to find more engineering opportunities. Although the team had a rough start in terms of finances, since then it has nearly tripled in size to 28 members, with 15 members registered with FTC and the rest being backup. Our two coaches include Laura Larson, a physics teacher here at Olympia High School, and Shannon Vicker, a parent of one of the team members. This year, with the revised sponsorship plan, the team has been able to recruit more sponsors including Baptiste Orthodontics, National Center for Simulation, Maker Effect Foundation, Actobotics, and several individuals in the Orlando area including Laura Larson. Without our sponsors' generous donations of supplies or funds, the team would not be possible. We do not want any financial burden to prevent students from joining First Tech Challenge, so we require only minimum dues and rely on fundraisers and donations throughout the competition season. The team plans on having a car wash in mid-January to raise additional funds. Other ideas that we have include hosting a spirit night at a local restaurant, in addition, we are constantly recruiting new members as former members are graduating. We teach our rookies from beginning to end with our primary goal of teaching students how to brainstorm, design, and problem solve for a robot. The team hopes that providing this experience, this will help fill the void of engineering classes or programs at Olympia. We start every meeting with a general discussion as well as agenda of the day. The team brainstorms ideas together as students will sketch ideas onto paper or draw on the whiteboard. The group would then separate into different sectors depending on the task that needs to be done, including programming, drivetrain, and additional moving parts. Prior to competitions, we would verbally discuss game strategies including but not limited to game tasks that the team wishes to focus on. One of our team members would then type out this plan that includes a thorough analysis of the robot's potential in achieving this goal, something that is constantly changing as new parts are added or taking off the robot. In addition, we have made a spreadsheet to determine the different task combinations our robot can do along with the number of points it can receive each match. Currently, with a time constraint, we chose to focus on building devices that hit the triggers along the ramp, getting debris into parking spacings, dropping climbers into the rescue shelter, and improving drivetrain so that the robot can make it up the ramp as high as possible. We hope this brief video has provided insight into who Robotic Titan is. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you at our next competition.